Namaskaram Sadhguru. I was part of the Leela program in 2005. I'm from Gujarat but brought up in the US. Um, and my understanding of Krishna was largely his stories of stealing butter and other childhood stories of mischief. Only after I attended the program, my understanding of Krishna matured and changed completely. Recently, I saw that people are misinterpreting a video uh, from the same program and saying that you are against Krishna and you said some vulgar things about him. How can devotees of Krishna do such things and why are such things happening? So, uh, that uh, this video or a mischievously edited video comes from the Leela program of 2005. We're talking about Krishna's growth. When he's an infant and he comes into Yashoda's life and into the life of uh, Gokula, he's just another child. As he grows up, he draws everybody's attention with his pranks. But as he grows further, then people start recognizing him as not just another child. The entire town, men, women, children are drawn to him. They say even the animals, the cows and birds hung around him. Well, this phenomena is happening when he's just seven, eight years of age. So after this Kaliya Mardhana, then slowly Yashoda, who as any mother would be, is fond and possessive about this little wonderful child that she has. But she starts realizing, this is not just another child. This is a divine possibility that everybody is recognizing it already. Everybody in the town is recognizing it, but she is wrapped in her uh, motherly love for her little cute child. So from Krishna being a cute little boy to a divine possibility slowly dawned upon her. And her love for the child which was a motherly relationship, slowly transformed itself. From Matru Prema, it became Krishna Prema. Nobody could have helped it. It's inevitable, it has to happen. It always happens everywhere. Here also it happened rather quickly. He's just seven, eight years of age, but already he is displaying that in so many ways, you cannot take him as just another child. So naturally, she evolves from just loving this young boy as her own to understanding that this is a divine possibility. Uh, some mischievous translation in Hindi language happened because I said, from being a mother, she became his lover. The word lover, in probably in small towns where they understand the word lover only as, uh, you know, a sexual relationship, somebody went and played mischief and made it like I'm suggesting that Yashoda had sexual kind of draw towards Krishna. So there's a whole reaction. Well, in this, there may be, there are devotees who are genuinely hurt. Why is Sadhguru saying this? To all of them I bow down and my profoundest apologies for you to be hurt like this. But at the same time I want you to know <laughs> that from your wildest stretch of imagination, how do you think that I will go about saying such obscene things about Krishna of all the people. I don't… I will not say such obscene things about any human being, especially someone like Krishna of all the people. As far as I am concerned, Krishna is among the highest expressions of yoga because through his entire life, 
he displayed that he could be involved in every kind of drama, including war, but still remain playful and untouched. This is only if somebody is established in yoga, this is possible. So we see him as the highest manifestation of yoga. And you think I will go and say such a thing? This is a mischievous translation and a mischievous edit of a 2005 program. It is a live program, it is not a prepared text that I'm reading. It's a live program. Maybe I left out the word divine and just said, she started loving him as a lover. Those who are translating this, if they are doing it innocently due to lack of language, I would like to tell them, you can be a lover of flowers, that does not mean you're sexually aspiring a flower. You can be a lover of wild animals, that does not mean you're sexually aspiring wild animals. You can be a lover of the divine, this does not mean you're aspiring sexually towards the divine. So this is English language. If you have done this translation innocently, not knowing and translating the English words literally into Hindi and making it sound and look ugly, well, please correct it. If you're doing it mischievously, well, your karma will breed its own consequences for you for doing such things. But for those devotees who are genuinely hurt by believing this kind of mischievous act, I am extremely sorry that such a thing has happened and uh, it's happened because of my video to you. Please uh, do not be hurt about it. You can be rest assured, Krishna is of highest value to us. We will not say anything wrong. My whole effort has been to present him as one of the most mature spiritual possibilities on the planet. And we have done that in many different ways. Those of you who are genuinely hurt because you thought this was said, I would like you to watch the... probably there is thirty-five, forty hours of Leela video which happened over eight days. In that somebody takes a minute-long video which is pieced together with the intention of causing mischief. Please do not go by that. And those of you who think on these lines, unfortunately you don't come to such things just like that, you unfortunately think like this. Now leave Yashoda aside. It is well established in our culture. Everybody in that town loved Krishna. They danced with Krishna, they engaged in ras with Krishna. If in your mind ras means sexuality, are you saying every other man, woman and child and even the cows and birds were having sexually... sexual engagement with Krishna in the Ras Leela? When the whole town is involved, what is wrong if the mother also goes there? Because she also started recognizing his divine qualities rather than seeing him as just her child. It is a transformation for a mother that instead of seeing a little boy as her possession, she sees him as a divine possibility. This is a tremendous transformation for a mother and that is the elevation that you must give to Yashoda, not simply being reactive like this. And anyway, if we have hurt anybody, we're very, very sorry for that. But there is no need for any Krishna, genuine Krishna Bhakta to be worried about me saying something against him. <laughs> that is not... that has not happened till now, that is not happening now, that will never happen again. I can assure you this, you will be assured yourself if you see everything else, rather than seeing this concocted two-minute or one-minute video.